I'm sure many fanboys are going to get hurt when I say this, but this right here, the Galaxy S22 Ultra 5G might just be the best smartphone that money can buy right now on this planet. everyone, I'm Ania from Mr. Phone and welcome to my first impressions video of the brand new Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra 5G in this beautiful burgundy colorway. So this right here is the 256 GB variant that Samsung sent me for review and it retails for about 1 lakh 10,000 rupees. If you need more storage then you can also opt for the 512 GB variant which retails for about 1 lakh 19,000 rupees. RAM is standard at 12 GB on both variants. So the prime competitor of the Galaxy S22 Ultra has to be the iPhone 13 Pro series, more specifically the iPhone 13 Pro Max. But the Galaxy S22 Ultra not only undercuts the 13 Pro Max by a huge margin when it comes to the price, but it even undercuts the base iPhone 13 Pro model in pricing. But despite that, this latest Android beast brings a ton of value over Apple's greatest. Of course, this is not a comparison video, but if you would love to watch a camera battle between the Galaxy S22 Ultra 5G and the iPhone 13 Pro, then definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you're liking this video thus far, then smash that thumbs up button. It motivates us and also consider hitting that red subscribe button and turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. So anyway, getting back to the Galaxy S22 Ultra and I've been using this smartphone for a few days now. The honeymoon phase is still on and every time I have this phone in my hands, I simply can't stop myself from gawking at it. It's a big phone, can be a bit unwieldy at times, no doubt about it, but it is so premium that once you have it in your hands and you start using it, you simply fall in love with it. Last year, the Galaxy S21 Ultra came with a dazzling design and I can confidently confirm that Samsung has done a much better job here with the Galaxy S22 Ultra's design. Now, the sloping edges, the boxy design, the presence of the S Pen do remind us of the Galaxy Note lineup. And truth be told, let's accept that the Note series must have been discontinued, but it is safe to say that its legacy from now on continues in the name of the Galaxy S Ultra. And it's good news. So in terms of materials, you get Corning's Gorilla Glass Victus Plus protection at the front and rear. The metal rails are made of armor aluminum and you get a shiny coating up top. The camera lenses at the rear are one of the cleanest designs that I've ever seen on a smartphone and it looks so, so classy. The S Pen lives in the slot below right next to the speaker and its color is black on all the S22 Ultra models. I mean, it could have been better if Samsung would have matched the color of the S Pen according to the phone's color. But anyway, as for the S Pen experience itself, well, it is mightier than ever. Samsung says that the latency has now been reduced to 2.8 millisecond this year. And this pen also relies on AI to better predict your strokes. And honestly, after having used the S Pen for years, this is the most responsive, natural and smoothest that it has ever felt. But yeah, more on this in the full review. Now coming to the other highlights, at the front you get a large 6.8 inch Quad HD Plus Dynamic AMOLED 2X display. It comes with an adaptive 120Hz refresh rate. Peak brightness is 1750 nits and I have to say, it is the brightest display I have ever used. Indoors or outdoors, this is the best panel that you can get on any smartphone when it comes to brightness. But otherwise, it's an edge-to-edge -edge curved panel with very thin bezels. In terms of display quality, the colors pop, you get inky blacks, superb contrast and all the good stuff. 
Content consumption feels like a dream on this thing simply because the display is drop dead gorgeous. The stereo speakers are also the best I've ever encountered on a mainstream smartphone, definitely better than the iPhone 13 Pro speakers, which were my go-tos up until this day. Moving on, the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor is also present here and is easily the fastest under display fingerprint sensor on the market, along with being the most secure as well. The phone's hardware is handled by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset. You get a 5000 mAh battery under the hood that is capable of charging at up to 45 watt speeds. In terms of software, there's One UI 4.1 atop Android 12 and this is also the first Android smartphone along with a few other Samsung phones that promise to deliver four years of main Android OS updates, something that not even Google delivers for its own Pixel lineup. So four years of main Android OS updates on this phone, that's a solid move from Samsung and definitely a thumbs up to the whole team. Anyway, software aside, here are some benchmarks on your screens right now showing what the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 brings to the table. So as you can see, we get the usual numbers that you would expect from a high-end smartphone, but numbers aside, real-world performance in these past few days has been top-notch. General things are handled well, apps open fast, there have been no lags or stutters whatsoever. All the modern high-end games run smooth and stable, be it Call of Duty Mobile, Genshin Impact, BGMI and the likes. Battery life has also been great on the smartphone and I've been easily getting about a day and a half worth of endurance. Do note that I've set the refresh rate of my Galaxy S22 Ultra at 120Hz but if you decide to keep it at 60Hz then you might get better battery life out of this phone but uh, what I feel is that with such a potent hardware and the features on offer I am not uh, resorting to 60Hz. Onto the optics, at the rear you get a 108 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, a 10 megapixel telephoto lens with 3x optical zoom, and finally a 10 megapixel periscope lens with 10x optical zoom. At the front is a 40 megapixel camera for selfies. So this year Samsung has doubled down on improving the camera's performance especially at night. The marketing term they are using is a nightography. I know they could have done better but the main point is that with this new camera system the Galaxy S22 Ultra wants to deliver brighter photos and videos all while keeping the details, contrast and dynamic range in check. For now, here are a few samples that I got the chance to click with the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Let me know in the comments what do you think about these but yes, do stay tuned for the full review to know in depth about the camera, performance, battery life and much more. And those were my first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra 5G. I am loving this phone a lot, this has become my current daily driver and also my current favorite smartphone. But of course, there's still a lot to cover in regards to its long-term software performance, camera performance, general performance and all of that. So as I said, definitely stay tuned for my full review which will be coming soon on the channel. But of course, if you have any doubts, queries, thoughts regarding the S22 Ultra, share them with me in the comments below. And as always, for all the latest in tech, stay tuned to Mr. Phone. I'll catch you all in the very next one. Thank you for watching.